Social media in the times of COVID-19 is indeed a burning point of view and is the platform of choice for this crisis. Now, such conversations are just one way that social media is both offering a window to our collective response to the coronavirus outbreak, as well as shaping our reaction in the first place, for good or for the worse. When as COVID-19 spreads in our country, social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter, which didn't exist or barely existed during past major outbreaks, are felicitating important conversations about the virus, while at the same time allowing sensationalism and misinformation to spread. Furthermore, the unprecedented level of real-time information at our fingertips can both give us the tools we need to make smart decisions, but Today, to take this forward, we have with us the chief of uh, the police force here. I will quickly introduce our guest today, who is an officer of the 1992 batch of the Indian Police Service from the Assam Meghalaya Kedar. Chief Hamid Singh is currently the additional Director General of Police, Security, Administration, Modernization and Logistics and Border, Assam. He also heads Nagarik Mitra, the Assam Police Smart Social Media Center, and currently is also the nodal alternative nodal officer for interstate movement of stranded persons. He joined the Indian Police Service in 1992 and spent the formative years of his career in Assam till 1998, serving as ASP Mongoldoy, SDP of Bokaghat, ADC to the Governor of Assam, and Superintendent of Police Norgaon. An alumni of St. Stephen's College, apart from being a keen sportsman, he has also been a theatre enthusiast with more than 26 stellar productions under his sleeve. Sir, we are very pleased to have you today amidst us. Also joining us today in this webinar is our Chancellor, Dr. A.K. Pansari, sir. Very good morning to you and our Vice-Chancellor, SP, Professor Dr. S.P. Singh, sir, who's also joined us today. But I once again formally invite all of you and uh, welcome you to this webinar on this very burning topic on the social media, its users, and the likes during COVID times. Professor Dr. S.P. Singh, our Vice Chancellor, is a well-known academician and administrator, having dynamic and enterprising personality with more than three decades of experience in teaching, research, and academic administration in institutions of repute across the nation. He has an experience of working with various institutions of repute and is a lecturer and organizer in training and orientation center, also with the Ministry of HRD, Government of India, director and vice chairman of Shavel Group of Institutions, and is presently our vice chancellor in the Assam Royal Global University here in Guwahati from November 2016. And he successfully launched the university from academic year 2017-18. Very good morning to you, sir. Can I request you, Professor Dr. S.P. Singh, sir, to kindly put in your initial comments to start off with this webinar on, on the very burning topic of social media, its importance in learning, here with, with Hamid Singh. Sir, over thank, to you. Yeah, thank you so much, Dicom. Uh, our Honorable Chancellor, Dr. A.K. Pansari, sir, uh, our esteemed friend, ADGP, Assam Police, uh, Sri Harmeet Singh Ji, my classmate. Uh, good morning to both of you. And good morning to all the participants, all, all fa faculty members, the staff, in huge number, they are attending today's uh, webinar. More than 1,000 registration on uh, uh, WebEx and also going to be another 1,000 or 2,000 on the Facebook. So it is going to be a very big uh, uh, participants number today, Harmeet Singh Ji, and I think we are very, very eager to listen from you and her, hear you about this very, very pertinent issue of the day. However, to begin with, uh, just an initial remark from my side, let me start with uh, congratulating uh, the police personnel in general, the Corona warriors who have done their best in, during the tough time to keep, keep India safe, to keep India in a position where we are right now, we are fighting well, and especially to Assam Police, DGP of Assam, ADGP Law and Order, GP Singh Saab, ADGP 
Harmeet Singh ji and all other police officers and all the police personnel they have put their best foot forward uh, they have relentlessly worked hard to keep us safe so we are very very uh, honored and obliged for the services being rendered selflessly by police personnel of Assam and India as far as this topic is concerned because it has been found in last 3 uh, 4 months the usage of social media has increased by almost 50 times in many other countries including maybe our country also 242 Uh, a million i mean 2 uh, 2.42 billion people in the country are using social media it's a big big platform and because of the social media and because of this digital world we are able to connect today and we are going to have that audience which normally we cannot accommodate in our auditorium which can accommodate 7 800 people so it is going to be a big platform though it is digital we are not connected face to face in general in a physical setup but we are set, we are we are going to interact in a digital format as far as social media is concerned there are good things about it and there are bad things about it i'll just put on one or two minutes on these issues one is that it is very very informative we are learning so much from social media it is a, a knowledge based you know of social media where we are getting lots and lots of knowledge new things we are connecting to each other throughout the world through social media we are disseminating different kinds of information we are using is as a advertisement portal publicity we are using it for other social support many people are stuck to the social media and digital world and they are living their life happily so it's all good i mean i'm saying 99 5 per, 95% 98% we are getting boon we are getting all good from social media but at the same time we are having some issues with respect to big data uh, materialism about digital addiction about paddling algorithms fake news echo chambers privacy violation defaming others especially defaming institutions defaming others by fake identity creating something which is very negative which is not right trying to malign the image of individuals many of my teachers and young students are not been able to become the part of social media because they have been trolled once upon a time they are not in a position to cope up with the pressure of social media where wrong people negative people are there to see that i mean things are not going in their way or they want to create negatives for you so what is rules and regulations what is law what is when um, people should not do this also i want on a serious note from your side harmeet saying to speak on this because many students many other people criminals or maybe sick mentality people are using this platform in a very very wrong way also and people have lot of fear i know because my students and teachers they have lot of fear in going to the social media and interacting so this is another very very important issue and i'm very sure with a coveted police officer like you i think the assam the students of assam the whole fraternity will come to know that if at all it is beyond fun what can happen so that is also very very important in my opinion because this is you have to regulate the police is reg is there to see the society is going in the right direction and same way the social world the 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 uh, digital world should also be looked after by we have it act we have many things have but many how things. we can go about it and how instagram how facebook how google if at all we find any problem how they are interacting and how they are going to give us information how we can get the ip address how we can find the culprit that is also very very important for uh, part from the policing point of view so i'm very eager to listen from you and we all are once upon a time maybe suffered due to because of social media this kind of thing but also i would say 95 98% it is boon to us and we are uh, getting lots and lots of information and all that connectivity which could have never happened without social media so my initial remark is this so i'll hand over to uh, dcom and my best wishes to all the participants and harmeet singh uh, professor singh uh, uh, was very interesting uh, uh, by starting off of course about the good points but then quickly launching into the negatives uh, and then quickly redeeming himself by saying more than 90% uh, the internet is good so you know as i was saying uh, whenever i talk uh, parents and teachers get a little apprehensive ke ab ye kya bolega because the generation gap has to be met it has to be closed and the internet uh, was one of the new things which have come about in the last 20 years taken off in our country in the last 10 years uh, on which there's been a lot of talk amongst particularly uh, my generation because i am in the parents generation saying you know ye ये बच्चे इस पे टाइम वेस्ट करते हैं दैट्स ट्रू एंड 
कोविड हैज प्रूव कि ये एक चीज है जिसपे आप बच्चे टाइम नहीं वेस्ट करते हैं एंड इंटरेस्टिंगली नाउ पेरेंट्स आर सेइंग व्हाई आर्ट यू अटेंडिंग योर ऑनलाइन क्लास व्हाई आर्ट यू लर्निंग समथिंग ऑनलाइन व्हाई आर यू डूइंग दिस व्हाई आर यू डूइंग दैट गेट बैक ऑनलाइन एंड डू समथिंग इन सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गेट इन टू अस्टोरिकल पर मिनट और टू कम्युनिकेशन then we'll talk about the fun of internet learning and social media and then as uh, professor uh, flew in the early 20th century in 1890 uh, 1919 1920 that kind of time and communication was the key at the same time so people had to be told the same things social distancing cover your face with a mask if you see old photographs again on social media and on the rest of the digital platforms you will find people with masks and hand washing who used to go door to door to give the same information can you imagine if today we didn't have the internet would we be have, have been able to send this information out? not really so point number 1 to internet social media we've learned a lot of how to handle things from social media in fact if you go on to uh, my twitter today i have retweeted something that pib assam tweeted uh, one from akshay kumar uh, with an assamese dubbing talking about the fact that you should not panic and wear your mask and one from uh, amitabh bachchan talking about how even if you get covid it's not a stigma let me share something with you uh, based on what sanjay was talking about uh, policemen being on the front line Uh, till yesterday we have had 85 of our policemen testing positive 14 have recovered but 7 70 odd are still in hospital and we have more than 1000 policemen in quarantine in fact i also went and got tested yesterday and uh, i'm lucky it was negative otherwise today i would have been speaking to you from the hospital because you know most of our policemen are completely asymptomatic and you know there's nothing to worry about so you know a huge response to this entire covid situation has been based on what we have seen or heard in social media interestingly there's also been a lot of fake news floating around on what we call our whatsapp university so haldi khalo pani pi lo garam pani pi lo thanda mat peena barf mat khana कोका कोला पीने से हो जाता है चिकन खाने से हो जाता है इन बिगिनिंग दर वॉज ऑल ऑफ दिस फ्लोटिंग अराउंड यस वॉर्म वॉटर इज गुड फॉर द बॉडी यस हल्दी और टर्मरिक इज अ वेरी गुड सोर्स ऑफ इम्यूनाइजेशन बट टिल नाउ देर इज नो रियल थियोरी और स्टडी टू से दैट दीज थिंग्स हेल्प यू किल कोविड ये आई सो अ वेरी फनी वन ऑन व्हाट्सएप वेर अ गाय वॉज सेंग एल्कोहल एंड एल्कोहल वेपर्स तो रोज शाम को इफ यू हैव विस्की वेपर्स दे टेक अवे कोविड डाई यू नो दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ आई वुड कॉल इट स्ट्यूपिडिटी रोमिंग अराउंड सो डोंट बिलीव इन इट कमिंग बैक टू आर टॉपिक वॉट हैज बिकम फॉर स्पेशली द यूथ आर मेन पॉइंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टूडे व्हाट्सएप फेसबुक ट्विटर इंस्टाग्राम uh so coming back to our holiday to we could not go to sikkim in april like we were supposed to go or uh, interesting kya hai ke sikkim hum kitne saal ho gaye 20 saal se nahi gaye so i took a virtual tour of sikkim both me and my wife uh, we got on to various travel sites we got on to the sikkim tourism site and we took a virtual tour of sikkim isse ek chain reaction shuru ho gaya so during lockdown 1 while doing my work in the evenings uh beaming from my uh, laptop or my ipad onto my tv uh, we roamed around so many places in the world and learned so much geography that it's quite amazing because i don't think we'll ever get to those places or ever afford to get to those places so point number 1 you can have great fun learning and find interesting things on the web what interests you the other thing that interests me is food so you know i've been watching a lot of food programs not cooking banana nahi 
अलग अलग जगह के रेस्टोरेंट क्या खिलाते हैं क्या चलता है तो आई एम टेलिंग यू द फन पार्ट सो एनी वे जोग्राफी फूड फन मूवीज यू नो दॉट टू लर्न फ्रॉम मूवीज ऐसा नहीं है कि पिक्चर है कोई खराब चीज है सो यू गॉट टू गिव इक्वल टाइम टू योर रिक्रिएशन ओके हाउ अबाउट योर फिजिकल फिटनेस put your yoga teacher or your aerobics teacher or your pilates teacher or even your gym teacher with a few weights and free hand exercises on the internet and you can exercise so it's a question of adaptability and having fun while you learn so let's actually get on to the serious stuff about uh, learning on social platforms you know a lot of schools and it's wrong to say that uh, you know uh, village schools rural schools are not on the internet every home touchwood today with the efforts of the government and the connectivity provided has at least one smartphone so there are enough children at least where basic teaching and learning is reaching them through the internet so vital elements of experience discovery excitement engagement fun and interaction you bring into learning through social and the internet okay you i know all of you are having especially at the universities and big schools in guwahati are having classes on the internet so that is providing you your daily intake from your teachers then comes the really interesting thing of online portals there are enough online portals which are teaching you even serious science using artificial intelligence virtual reality and augmented reality so you search for these you tell your teachers to look for these and that is the way because practically when you do something is when you can learn it and today even in social sciences the whole concept of going out doing surveys meeting people getting experiential learning so that all has now till we are in this world of social distancing and stoppage of non essential movement living in a virtual world where all this can be done virtually you know something i'm not talking about today uh, last year uh, there was a project going on i think it was at yale and one of my son's friends interviewed me on an international call for her project there so you know things which were starting have really taken off today on the learning part now let's come to cyber safety which is possibly the most important part of this learning that we need to talk of today so one is cyber safety will be you personally on social media and the second is what your institutions need to do because we've been getting a lot of i was talking on a unicef webinar uh, a few days ago where i spoke to younger children on uh, this entire social media and uh, safety business so we were talking of this cyber safety business and a lot of children said that in their online classes people be, be enter so in fact i had said then and i had discussed it with sanjay and some other school principals also in guwahati we'll do a separate seminar for you with cyber peace foundation where we'll help the institutions handle their cyber safety issues where people are managing to get in or hack in or steal a password or something like that so let's first come to you personally number 1 please keep your social media platforms personal now what does personal mean facebook instagram and for things instagram maybe you want the world to see the kind of photographs you've taken so maybe you can open it a bit more okay so personally facebook please and your personal snapchat account please do not befriend anybody you do not know dost ke dost ke dost ka dost isko aap personally nahi jante hain aap befriend mat kariye because that is where starts the cyber stalking and the cyber bullying and we've had to help a lot of young people who have been cyber stalked and bullied like this sanjay spoke about looking for ip addresses 
believe me in today's day and age precaution is the first step ip addresses can be through vpns ip addresses can be mocked it takes a long time for facebook from america even to share an ip address with us so first is protect yourself your privacy settings and your safety settings must be such that you do not befriend anybody else and you do not share with anybody except friends because personal photographs family moments yes you want to share them with the world but you don't want others to come in not twitter the minute you get abuse on twitter you report it similarly keep your personal phone number close to yourself do not somebody sends you a link to join a group you don't know the person please do not join that group you get an sms saying free covid test testing free magazine free film do not do it any link you get from somebody you do not know do not click on it any link you even get from somebody you know you first ask that person are you sure of this link or have you just forwarded it similarly any link that you don't know and you get do not forward it so precaution is the best part and most of you at least in assam would be following assam police on twitter and on face uh, on facebook we keep giving out these advisories from time to time scroll down our timeline you will find covid related do's and don'ts also so privacy is your main issue which you have to manage so i'm allowed to look at my notes i guess by the way they are also on an ipad so can i quickly ask you a very important pertinent question in between coming in we haven't well, no one tackled well, this so far and i'm what? sure it will be great on your it says it's about the gender place social media covid 19 has inevitably reinforced digital gender divide phone connectivity and internet access should be fundamental rights for all but today despite progress they remain privileges girls women and marginalized groups are least likely to have access to technology this was already a dire disadvantage and now as the covid-19 pandemic has moved so many aspects of daily life online because can i just cut you there because can i just the, the gender gap okay i i'm sorry i'm sorry uh, let me let me answer that before you carry on as the moderator i would request that you also evaluate your questions if this person is talking of a gender gap in internet connectivity themselves on uh, if there is a study to say that or there is evidence to prove that internet companies and phone companies are not giving uh, are using gender discrimination to give out uh, connections or that uh, there are less connections with people based on right. their gender i would talk but just through putting together jargon and making a question where is where where where, where is there where is a study a factual credible study Or, so perfect but uh, other thing that has come up sir too many questions filling up also on my phone is about the misinterpretation of information through social media and how yeah. can they tackle it has been a burning thing since yesterday yeah. also on my so, phone collectively sir this is the problem they are all facing so if you could also friend, touch upon this ha uh, i will touch if you were listening and others were listening i have already answered this if you follow assess on both facebook and twitter the question of how to handle fake news is answered but right now because it's been raised again i am giving the answer slowly please listen my friends very quickly on the media especially but even media social media digital media is not god's own truth so you have to fact check if you find something incredulous agar aapko lage ki yaar ye theek nahi lag rahi baat ye maza nahi hai ye ye sach nahi ho sakta aap is pe simple si baat hai google search karo kisi fact checker ko bhej do there are enough fact checkers who have open access 
on the internet. PIB itself runs a fact check service on on Twitter. PIB is the government of India uh, department. Uh, the information and broadcasting ministry runs that. So all you need to do is fact check, check provenance, check history, go on to Google for things. Look only at verified websites for information. You will be very clear on what looks fake and what looks true. Uh, does that answer your question, right, uh, Deka? Yes, sir. This has been yes, sir. This okay. has been a collective questions from everyone. And the other one that's blocking up all the space is the threats on internet. How to handle threats on internet? I just handle that. Please do yes, not open again, yourself up to people you do not I know. And if you get a threat, now what is a threat? Yesterday, somebody kept sending me messages saying, I'm being threatened, I'm being threatened, I'm being threatened. I said, please send yes. your number. I spoke for the young person like most young people here. And the person was studying in the veterinary college. So actually what he meant by threat was that he had an argument with someone. and So immediately I connected to the nearest police station the dcp was told and we'll handle the matter so if somebody is actually threatening you we are available our social media platforms are available so here is what i want to say to my young friends your connectivity a you must keep private number two we are there our social media platforms are there our telephone numbers are there our helplines are there to us immediately let me add one more small thing this young man i was speaking to yesterday is training to be a doctor and when i spoke to him uh, in the middle of my work and i asked him Ke, tu make baat batao. if you get an accident case and you get a case where someone just has a small because he deals with animals a small bite what would you treat animal that's had an accident so i said mere bhai humko bhi thoda time de do put it the fact that someone is being nasty to you we will handle it but right now we are moving patients at that time we were moving patients from uh, a quarantine center to a hospital let us let that officer finish with that job and he'll come back to you so as far as threats are concerned we are available actually uh, uh, Decom, what you're talking about, if I can understand and with my experience and with having a 23 year old son, is not really threats. It's called cyber bullying. What us yeah. talking? So, what was in the earlier world, bullying or in the real world has now been manifested many times over in the cyber world Very true. because there is anonymity. So please, my young friends, we are available. We will help you. But the first thing you must do is if somebody sends you something unparliamentary, as they say in correct English and abusive, as I say, the first thing you do is block that person. And very true. if the person tries to come to you through another profile or another number, you block it again and then come to the police. Number one, don't engage with such people. What I have found is that a lot of people end up engaging with such people and getting hurt a lot more. So number one is you must stop. So let me tell you what all happens in, on, that we've come to this. You know, it leads to emotional harassment. As Sanjay said in the beginning, it leads to defamation, social exposure, intimidation, and a feeling of social is there don't engage and we are there after all, we run the the nagrik mitra we are the friends of the citizens that's why our social media sector is there so my first follow uh sam police guwahati police if you are in guwahati any other district if you are in that district and as far as adgp law and order gp singh and i are concerned you will get an immediate response so you can follow us on twitter Reach out to us, we'll help. Okay. So next in, comes. Sir, can I, uh, we talked of fake news. Uh, can uh, uh, Decom, can I can I finish my points before yes, you sir. jump in Please, with sir. questions? 
if you don't mind please, sir. okay next please, sir. we've talked we've talked about fake news now i just want to talk a bit about uh cyber email and cyber and uh, phone phishing i mentioned it slightly let me come back to it again any email any message any whatsapp any sms providing you a link ask for your information unless you are absolutely sure do not click never click on a link that comes to you you know something it's been uh, i think i've been using the internet for 20 years now i never open an email i do not recognize i delete i don't even open to see what it is i delete from the inbox and the uh, junk mail and the trash i just delete every day twice a day i am deleting emails because i get about 1000 emails a day okay i just don't even open it so if it's someone you know click on it but if it's someone you know from an email that you don't know before so if someone sends you an email saying you know dcom's email is at hotmail and you suddenly get a email saying dcom at rocketmail.com it's not dcom ring him up check don't know so don't click on things you don't know as i said earlier if a friend forwards you a link that you don't find to be kosher you don't find to be good theek nahi hai apne dost ko phone karke puchiye is pe main click karu ke nahi so cyber phishing and these days you are also getting wishing which is you know they send you stuff do not click okay cyber extremism is something also i want to touch on so always think if it is somebody offering you something out of the normal do not follow it i'm not saying out of status quo because great minds must always change status quo but anything that is extremist in its viewpoint an extremist can be socially extremist it can be religiously extremist it can be educationally extremist it can be any kind of extreme view always look at it understand it and the best way to protect yourself and protect others my friends is do not do anything on the internet which you would not want anybody else to do to you अगर आपको कोई चीज बुरी लगती है तो दूसरे को ऐसी चीज कहने या करने से पहले अगर आप ये सोचें दैट आई विल फील बैड इफ समवन डिड दिस टू मी डोंट डू इट टू अनदर पर्सन एंड यू नो इवन येस्टरडे आई हैड अ मैसेज फ्रॉम समवन सेइंग वी आर स्ट्रैंडेड इन ढेकिया जुली बिकॉज ऑफ द एट अ फ्रेंड टी गार्डन बिकॉज ऑफ ट्विटर पे आया था मैसेज बिकॉज ऑफ द in guwahati we can't come back to maine unse ek chhota sa sawal pucha ke sab lockdown hone ke baad to do din ka time mila tha sabko movement karne ka to aap kyu nahi aaye to immediately unka answer aaya ke aap theek bol rahe hain thank you for your time so sometimes we think only of ourselves and we say something to the other person without realizing that the solution is available with us hamare khud hi ke paas solution hai so as far as fake news phishing personal security and in security is concerned it's in your hands and where you face a problem we are available now talking about security that exists for your institutions i would request the institution that we can handle this separately because we don't have enough time on this webinar let me just tell you this of a 85 year old lady from delhi uh, who got a call and she did not understand in the beginning what was happening and she shared they asked for an otp they said ma'am aapko otp aayega aap share kar dijiye blah 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 aap covid ke liye daan de rahe hain this this is one otp 2500 to 5000 rupees was taken from our account immediately this 80 year old lady realized kuch gadbad ho gayi she rang up her son again this is activity she used whatsapp rang up her son in dubai the son got in touch with his wife who's in guwahati the wife rang me up i connected with the old lady the old lady at 85 was able to immediately block all her credit cards she got her secretary to block all her accounts and she gave me the phone number she had got the call from 
एंड वट आई हैड टू हर सन इन दुबई केम ट्रू इमीजिएटली जमतारा से कॉल आया था सो प्लीज फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन कोई इंफॉर्मेशन आपको कोई फोन करे आप पढ़ते हैं रॉयल ग्लोबल में समवन रिंग यू आप एंड से आई एम कॉलिंग फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट देर हैज बीन अ प्रॉब्लम इन योर अकाउंट इन योर कैन यू शेयर योर फादर्स नेम योर डेट डेट ऑफ बर्थ विद मी आई एम क्लिकिंग इट अगेन दे आर एक्चुअली स्टीलिंग योर इन्फॉर्मेशन से प्लीज पुट द फोन डाउन कॉल द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑन द नंबर दैट यू नो ask them is this call true or not so basic number one point for everybody please verify anything that comes to you on the web as your vice chancellor sanjay said in the beginning 95 to 98% is good yes there is that 2% bad so for the parents and the teachers also my request the internet is a good place let's use it for good and deep now i think you can go into questions because we've just about got 10 to 15 minutes left okay because i'm trying to utilize this time one is that uh, thank you so very much for you know very very informative webinar and we are very very um, and uh, inform uh, got information today with respect to safety security and everything one very important thing which is coming to our you know life i mean on facebook especially and instagram and lot many people have uh, you know they are with a fake identity they are especially there to you know malign somebody or to do something negative to do something wrong so the people with fake identity and it is visible from their profile also that they are not real but i mean is there any mechanism to sort out uh, by the by the cyber security that we can identify the people with fake identity and if at all we identify them how quickly we can you know report them and how quickly we can get rid of them yeah sure you see number one where do you get in touch with a fake identity facebook you get in touch with a fake identity and you get all sorts of uh, stalking and bullying and uh, uh, intimidation because you have befriended that fake identity so number one when it comes to facebook and snapchat which are pers completely personal please do not share uh, your identity and keep uh keep your profile open only to friends not even friends of friends so the minute you do that you're safe number 2 if someone uh puts up something fake about you on a facebook platform you immediately report it to facebook and then you report it to the police twitter same thing you report it to twitter there is report on twitter there is report on facebook there is report on uh, instagram there is report on youtube you report it there and you report it to us Yes, there are ways and methods of trade people because all this. Yeah, it does take time, but it does get done. So don't worry; it can be done depending on the uh, kind of intensity of the hate and stuff. But yes, uh, it's very doable, so it's not a problem. Right. Thank you so much, Dikom. You are there. Should I continue? Sir. Yeah. So, sorry so, about the connectivity so, today, but can okay. you want to say something? Okay. Please go ahead. I I just want to clarify no. if at all. Uh, yeah, I just want to clarify something if at all. If I have said uh, wrongly or maybe understood wrongly, that there are around 2.5 billion people in the world, or maybe more than that, little bit more than that, who are in the social media platform and using it, not the country. So carry on, Dikom. right so so this is uh, what other people are also asking generally that what should yeah. be the strength of social media during the times of covid but this is a very general question but people want to hear it uh, from what, harmeet what, singh what, sir what, so, sorry sorry what should be the the strengths of social media that people should take advantage upon during okay, times no, of very, very good very, very good question yes. positive let, let, let me uh, basically people want to know how useful can social media be during the time of true covid right so okay right. now when we talk of social media let me let me also include stuff like uh what your the streaming films you are watching okay even if you are watching youtube you can actually search for covid related credible information on youtube where by doc
CMR, maybe even WHO have put out a lot of stuff. You can find that on COVID. If it bothers you, uh, sort of uh, physically, emotionally, psychologically, you can find uh, answers on social media. And police, along with GMCH, has already got six helplines running for psychological telecounseling. You will get them on social media. There are Corona trackers being run by the ICMR and by some private uh, agencies, which show you how much it has spread or it has not spread. What what kind of as I mentioned this video from Akshay Kumar and Amitabh Bachchan yesterday. So social media has enough credible information on anything that you want in the world, but <clears throat> you must see that the information is from a credible source. And to check whether the source is credible, also the internet is the best place. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, there's a question from Dr. Dilawar Haq. I found frequently some unknown sources trying to log in my Gmail. Whenever someone uh, other than me trying to log in my Gmail, I received a message from Gmail to confirm. Whether it is me or not, then I just ask, click the option. It's not me. Then that unknown source is blocked immediately. So he is giving an input. I think uh, not a question as such. I, I, I think what the gentleman is talking about is uh, the fact that someone knows about his password or something and has tried to uh, log in. So immediately you inform Gmail also. You change all your passwords. You make your password a lot stronger. And uh, what the gentleman is talking about is cyber security, which as Sanjay, I said, we'll have a different session on because today right. is about fun learning and social media for the children. Right. So I think if, if, there are, if there are any, any, any questions from the young ones, I'd uh, uh, take those first. One, one question from a student called Savita Sharma. Uh, she's uh, uh, asking one more question. Sometimes we can't find out whether it is fake, especially in Nokri and LinkedIn. We see fake posts and they fake, uh, they take money from candidates promising them they will arrange interview for them, saying that the registration fee. So try and then another okay. I, have, I, I have yeah. I have a simple I have a simple answer. A if you found something like this on nokri.com, you tell them. Uh, the owner, in fact you send me this thing no friend of mine, I'll pass it on to him. But more than that, any service provider who wants money first is suspect. Do not give any service provider who wants money first any kind of money. Any kind of service provider, okay. including headhunters or people who get you houses on rent, so money is to be provided only after the service is complete. Right. Right. There's again question about that people post uh, the suicide video that money and problem for young children. Uh, uh, they keep on posting uh, such kind of negative stuff. What to do about it? Number one, the first thing as a responsible citizen we all must do is the minute we see any about somebody talking about suicide inform the police immediately even day before yesterday we were able to save someone because there was a comment somewhere and send the person for psychological counseling as the first cases in the entire country where within half an hour we were able to that person had been on facebook and facebook had informed us and this example is being used by facebook all over the world as cooperation and uh, the police forces so please inform us. Number two, one question, probably it is related to Facebook, that once we create a Facebook page, or we do not know even, we might face problem from any one of them, how to handle these issues. If somebody is having its own Facebook page, add that is for public. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll answer it, I'll answer it in one minute. There's no problem. A number one Facebook pages are for people who are public personalities. 
So I would not suggest that private individuals open Facebook pages of their own unless and until they have some sort of uh, public interest things to share, page to tell the people about yourself. Unless you are a public personality, okay, you do art, you want to share in YouTube channel or a but individuals for conversations should not have a Facebook page. They should have a Facebook profile, which I do. I don't have a Facebook page. But if you open a public page, yes, anyone can come onto it. And if someone comes onto it and puts a comment which is derogatory or abusive, you have two options. You can block that person, delete the comment, hide the comment. And if you feel that it is troubling you too much, you can inform the police. So I hope I've answered your question. It's In fact, everybody of you who is reading Facebook, I would request you to kindly go into their own suggestions and their own privacy settings. You will find 90% of the answers there. The spirit of inquiry True. is something that helps us find all our answers. And for the answers you can't find there, my team is there and I've shared my personal Twitter handle with you. It's called at Hardy Speaks. Uh, so you can connect with me on that. Um, last Please question for my side. Also, yeah. also uh, I just, one thing, my Facebook profile is private. So I do not have any Facebook friends who I do not know personally. So send me friend requests on Facebook, but connect with me on my public profile, which is my Twitter profile. Okay, one question is related to Instagram that people have like Instagram, people make their you know, fake IDs, they post something negative about anybody against maybe institution against individuals, then they immediately change the profile from public to private. And then at times, uh, they abscond from the Twitter altogether create another. So there are some criminal minded or maybe um, uh, people with the wrong identity or maybe some kind of uh, negativity. So, I mean, there are, I mean, maybe many people are doing this. How to tackle this on Instagram once you are not there in, on Instagram or you are there, but you don't know somebody is maligning your image on a different platform. Somebody is maligning your image on a particular, but you came to know from others. What to do about it? Any platform that you are not on, if there is something which is against you or malign, a, you report it to the platform or you ask the friend who saw it to report it to the platform and B, if it is beyond a threshold, kindly come to the police. We are there to help you. So don't worry about that. There will always be, whether in the cyber world or in the real world, there will always be people who are negative in their mind process. They are, as you called it, criminal. I would say criminal is the other extreme but there are enough people who mischief or maliciousness on their minds they're tackleable don't worry we are there for that no question just want to compliment you for such a wonderful session in my own way at times there were costly metal currency in use and those times the currency has two value face value and intrinsic value people had been your friend for your face value but I am sure after this session, they have known your intrinsic value, which is much, which is much more than your face value. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Harmeet Singh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, all the participants.